Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim from One Point Samples, and today I'm going to show you how to go from a very simple recording into a demon sounding Rostal vocal. And as you might know, we just released a huge Rostal vocal pack, and it contains a lot of free drop vocals. It's really dope if you're like a Rostal up tempo producer because it's recorded in 180 and 150 BPM. But, anyways, we will go from a very cheesy, well, whatever, it's just a raw recording, and obviously people don't sound like a demon or something like that when they talk, so you gotta process it, and that's what we will do so we go from this this is what we love the bass beats the buzz to something like this this is what we love the bass beats the buzz so this pack raging rasta vocals it contains 17 of these eight bars much more medium short and shouts uh, a lot of build-ups drum loops vocal loops whatever also the mixer chain is gonna make right here there's way more added into this pack so if you get a raw vocal you edit here you drag and drop this vocal chain onto the mixer you will get this full thing that we will create and then you have this whole vocal ready. So, let's just dive into it. The first thing you will do is open this raw vocal. And if you're processing your vocals at first, I will not go from a raw to a processed vocal because that is something else. That's a different tutorial, but I'll just show the basics. You take the vocal. What you do is you open it in Edison and in Edison, you drag and drop this vocal into there. So yeah, let's just open a vocal. And then what you do is zoom in and then you take the part where it should be silent and there's a little bit of clicking or noise or whatever. Then you go here, you click acquire noise threshold and then you remove everything. So you select the whole sample, gate noise. So the noise is gone. Then you drag and drop this new vocal that you just created into your playlist. Then you set it here. You make sure it fits the time. You set it at the right BPM. You make sure that it starts at the right point. Then you remove some ba uh, little noise clicks that are in between. And then you start adding some effects. So you still have the raw vocal, but now it's noise gated. So the second thing you do is you open up a few plugins. So the first one you open is a EQ. And with this EQ, you will remove the sub, not the bass, because male vocals, especially male vocals, have more bass. So you just remove the sub. Up. Then you open a compressor and with this compressor you just put it at a threshold that fits the vocal. So if the vocal kind of hits around minus 15, minus 12, you put it at like minus 14. Put the ratio at 4 or whatever you like, release. There you go. Then you add ODT and you just pull down the depth and the downwards compression a little bit until it doesn't sound too multiband compressed. Then you can add a DSer to make sure that you remove all the sh sounds. So you play the vocal. Crowd! Player, dance floor, and then you just kind of read that this vocal Crowd. might be really Crowd. Player. Shh, at this frequency. So then you just uh, find that frequency range, put it here, pull down the threshold a little bit so it hits faster. This will range how much it goes down, like how much it removes of this shh frequency. And then just make sure the shh is gone, but that's an optional thing. So that's the thing. And then you go into your Fury Parametric EQ again, remove the sub again. Crowd. And then you Crowd. read the bands that are really spiky and like too much and you reduce them a little bit. So Crowd. Player. feel free to keep doing this because then you see the result of this one. Just add a new Crowd. one. Player. Dance floor slayer. Sexy like a so there you go. That's how you process a raw vocal into a processed vocal. So then you create this. You know. yeah. And then we will go from this vocal into the demon sounding vocal so this is where the tutorial actually starts yeah so you just could just skip to this point um anyways you just processed your vocals and then you know you add it into your mixer so first things first add a sub cut again because you just want to make sure that you remove the sub before you add any effects because if you don't remove the sub and there might be some sub somehow and you start adding effects then this sub will get affected as well so instead like imagine you put distortion and you didn't cut the sub then this sub will kind of mud up the whole mix so you take this vocal the first thing that we can do is pitch it down a little bit so not too much if you work on really dark cinematic vocals you might put uh, put it down like four you know. but this doesn't really sound good to me so i'd say around 120 cents you know that's okay yeah as you notice you might need to put it at e2 speech it's the best 
option you can find in the um, pitching mode. So once you've done that, you can notice that the power of the vocal goes away a little bit. So how we get that back is pretty simple. We just add a little bit of distortion. So just open Wave Shaper, bam. Love the bass beats the buzz. That's the first thing. Also, if you like this kind of tutorials, just make sure to drop a like and maybe subscribe. It helps a lot. And uh, a lot of you aren't subscribed, but it would help us a lot. So yeah, thank you. Second thing we will do is get this new sound back to normal levels a bit. Love the bass beats the buzz. With a compressor. So then we start adding some really dope vocal chains. So what you can do is just add a Little Alter Boy, so Formant Shifting plugin. FL Studio has them as well, but Little Alter Boy is really good. So you can Formant Shift it down. And as you can hear, that's way too much. And this is what we love, the bass beats, the buzz, the and it, rush. And it sounds dope, but what I want to do is create a vocal chain. And uh, Patcher is a really underutilized plugin, and it's really, really good. Everybody should use this because it's insane. So what we first make is a normal chain from FL Studio to FL Studio. And that's just a dry signal, or dry as it is right now. Then we will add a few of these, and this comes down to your creativity. What I want to make is a demon sounding vocal. So that means this vocal needs to play at a few different pitches. So let's create a chain that goes into this. So, um, sorry, we take a EQ. So this EQ from FL Studio, the signal goes to the EQ. And then this EQ gets split into two little altar boys. And then I want to put these two little altar boys Stereoized, so it's kind of you're working on a really dope circuit that then generates a sound. So in this case, let's just make this format shifting happen at a certain frequency range. So this frequency range, the dry signal goes into this frequency range, and then little alter boy will do its job. So let's put it three down. Let's put it one up, a little bit down, and then let's stereoize it. And then this is what we love: the bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling. And as you can hear, that's much doper than if you would just add the effect. Like this is what we love: the bass beats, the buzz. So this one might not work. Let's see how this sounds. That's dope. So now we can um, make enhance, like we can enhance this um, little alter boy chain we just made with OTT a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit too muffled. There we go. So now we add this. This is what we love, the bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling. And this is the difference. Dry vocal. This is what we love. This is what we love. The it's much fuller. So now you just made this and you can work with this. So what we will start adding now is more distortion because we want to bring out the uh, the power in this vocal. So this is what we love. The bass beats the buzz. Tune it down a little bit. There we go. Now we add a little bit of wave shaper. This is what we love. The bass beats the buzz. The rush. The feeling. The sound is one. Now I want to make sure that this is a little bit less and a little bit like this. So then we have this vocal ready and I want to have the whole vocal just be a little bit wider. And Vocal Doubler is a free plugin, not Vocal Synth. That's the wrong one. Vocal Doubler. It's a really dope free plugin you can get from uh, Isotope. And um, you can just open it up. So this is the opening and then it doubles the vocal. So separation and variation. So I want it to have a little bit of variation, but a lot of separation. And then this is what we love. The bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling. And it's just a little bit too much. So let's put it like that. This is what we love. The bass beats, the buzz, the rush. You can hear that it's really wide. And that's what you need for the vocal because it needs to cut through the whole mix. When you have your leads, synths, screeches, kicks, whatever playing, you want this vocal to pop out. So then just put it like this. This is what we love. The bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We work all week now to relieve the stress. So let's put some final plugins in here because what I want to add right now is one more compressor to get it down to a normal level. This is what we love. The bass beats, the buzz, the rush. Then I want to add Fresh Air. Fresh Air is a really cool free plugin as well from Slate Digital. I hope I have it here. Here we go, Fresh Air. This plugin is really cool for vocals because it immediately makes it really crisp. So the high end, here you go. This is what we love, the bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We work all week now. And now listen to the difference. This is what we love, the bass beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We and that's some huge difference. So just to have a really small recap on where we at right now we started with this vocal nothing much this is what we love 
You put it down, add effects, and bam. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling. And then at the end, I just want to make sure that every frequency is right. So we put sub, we remove that. This is what we we get rid a little bit of these harsh highs. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We work all week now to relieve the stress. One way ticket, nevertheless, the clubs, the festival, the feelings. And I want this frequency range to cut through a little bit more because then it is easier in the mix. So this is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. And now you see that this sounds pretty cool. So the final thing we will do is create reverb and delay buses so first of all just go to this one edit there then we will call this one reverb there we go to make it easy reverb first thing you add is reverb obviously just put it at 100 wet because this channel will be 100 wet add the reverb add a little bit of this then you add the fruity limiter go to the compression section add sidechain to this vocal and then just bring down the threshold so what this means is as long as the vocal is playing the reverb won't open up and when the vocal is done playing the reverb will open up so uh based on these settings the reverb will open up uh shorter or faster or slower whatever you want and um let's just tweak it this is what we love the bass beats the buzz the rush the feeling the sound is one we work all week now to relieve the stress one way ticket nevertheless the clubs the festival the feelings intense i said before the stage is fucking immense the lasers hit the sky needs to be longer and a little bit more muffled this is what we love the bass beats the buzz and i think it's too sudden so let's just open up the release lid this is what this is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling. And then we equalize this reverb of the vocal a little bit because I want to make it a little bit less muddy. So. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz. And then we add a delay channel as well. And in this delay channel, we do the exact same thing. I will open Echo Boy because it's a really cool plugin. Then we open a preset, classics, space, echo, tweak it, make it really wide. Turn down the V back a little bit. The mix goes to 100% and then... This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz. There we go. Low cut goes up, high cut goes up. Then we equalize this one a little bit just to make it uh, a bit better. There we go, bam. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz. And now we add the limiter, sidechain to the exact same thing. Bam. Now all these things go into one more channel just to make sure. Okay, so what I need to do then is this to make sure it goes back in the right one again. Sidechain. There we go. And then in this final channel, we will just glue it together a little bit more. This is what we love. The bass, beats, the buzz, the rush. The we add a limiter to remove the peaks. This is what we love. This As you can see. This, this this is That's crazy, so... This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We work all week now to relieve the stress. And now you can just simply tweak this patcher preset. You can add stuff. You can add another uh, a little altar boy. Really dope. You can add this here. Bam. Little altar boy. Add it here. Make it pitch up, you know. Five. You know this is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. We work all week now to relieve. And then you get Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, um, you know. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz, the rush, the feeling, the sound is one. It sounds we like a really, really angry uh, gnome or something, but yeah. <laughs> So, that's basically how you process a raw style vocal. Uh, there's obviously way more ways to do this. You can uh, open up the distortion more. You can make it more distorted. This is what we love, the bass, beats, the buzz. But then you get the idea. The main thing is about patcher and uh, making sure you have pretty good processed vocal. We showed that in the first minutes. Then you just start adding stuff. So, always make sure to cut the bass. Add some distortion to get it back to the original power when you pitch it down. Add a compressor to get it uh, into normal volume levels again. Then add vocal doubler to make the vocal more wide distortion and more distortion compress it to bring it together fresh air for the high end and just making it crisp and then final eq to just bring out and reduce some frequencies that you like or dislike and then in the patcher just make sure to make a dry signal and then some interesting wide signals so you always add this fruity shaper to make it wide on the ears ott little auto 
boy, all this stuff, whatever you want, you can add it, okay? You can add distortion here, you can add chorus, you can add a phaser, you can make really crazy vocals. The same applies to screeches, kicks, whatever you want. Yeah, so just remember it um, comes down to your creativity, just have fun with it. And yeah, if you like this tutorial, drop a comment, leave a like, whatever you want, uh, it helps a lot. But yeah, until the next tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a nice day.